Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Aries, here's the situation. We've got the Hermit, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. So you see how we have the Hermit um, and we have the Six of Wands. Someone is moving away from the Hermit. So um, either you left a Virgo or a, it could have been the Virgo leaving you for somebody else. And the Six of Wands is moving towards the King of Cups. And we also have the Queen of Cups. So the King and the Queen of Cups, it's a suited couple. So somebody was left behind, could have been a Virgo, but doesn't have to be. Um, and somebody moved uh, towards uh, their true love, I guess. Uh, I hope I'm not going to get uh, angry areas uh, if you're the one who uh, was left behind. Um, another way I can interpret this is somebody went uh, silent, somebody uh, did some soul searching and they finally decided who their true love is and they left somebody behind and moved towards their true love. Um, I'm just a messenger guys. Um, see the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a suited couple. They could be uh, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but this is just an actual couple that is in love with each other. So here, that is the situation. Let's see what the advice is in regards to the situation. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, the King of Pentacles, and we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the advice here is to um, either manifest this um, King of Pentacles, who could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, into your life. Perhaps you already know this person, or this could have been the ex, um, right? Because um, we had the uh, Hermit in the first spread. So if this is this king of pentacles is a Virgo the advice here is to uh, try to manifest this person back into your life or if they do come back around and uh, they offer you something um, tangible or something serious um, or if they tell you that uh, they really want you back that you are the love of their life I guess then the advice here is to um, reconcile with this person if this X is not an earth sign for you, then you should manifest a new person into your life. An earth sign or someone who is very stable. I'm hearing the word stable here. And uh, you have a potential with that particular person. Because we've got the uh, four of wands on the bottom of the deck. And this card is um, about uh, a stable relationships. Some people call it the 11-11 card. Um, I really like the Ace of Pentacles in this spread. Um, it is a golden opportunity. It's one of the better Aces, for me at least. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is called the golden opportunity for a reason. And the Magician card is all about manifestation. So, um, you see the storyline here, right? So, this is the advice. Let's see if there is anybody better suited for you coming towards you in May, hopefully better than your ex. Um, we've got the Five of Cups, the Six of Swords clarified by the Ten of Cups, and we also have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So I really like the way cards came out. So the first card, the Five of Cups, is a card of regrets, right? So this could be the state of mind you're in after this breakup or fallout. We do have uh, the Six of Swords clarified by the Ten of Cups. 
So I think this is an advice for you to move uh, out of that state of mind, out of that uh, situation, stop thinking about that and start moving towards um, happiness or a happy, uh, fulfilling relationship. That's what the Ten of Cups is all about, right? So the next set of Cups is the uh, Nine of Cups, uh, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups is all about wish fulfillment and is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. This could be either an Earth sign that you could be uh, moving towards. They could be coming into your life and that will fulfill your wishes or this is just someone who is more stable than your ex who is going to come into your life and uh, you'll feel much more like you can rely on them more you know what I mean they could probably have their finances in order and um, they're just more stable overall we have the knight of, of swords on the bottom of the deck this is either an air sign that could be coming towards you uh, who is more stable than your ex or this is just the energy of um, someone coming towards you really really quickly really swiftly so take it as resonates it could be either an earth sign or an air sign uh, coming towards you in May but um, the main idea here is that you should uh, get yourself out of the regretful uh, state of mind uh, and start moving towards uh, uh, you know something new and something new is on the horizon for you it could be either an earth sign or an air sign but either way there is wish fulfillments and uh, a happy fulfill fulfilling uh, relationship on the horizon for you and there you have it I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.